All right, guys, I'm back with another video. Make sure y'all watch all the way through. This is going to be a good video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Give me some motion. I need some motion. Give me some motion. So give me some motion. So make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Because I'm, I'm also going to give y'all some tips. So it's going to be worth your while of me explaining everything to you on like what I use products and basically techniques. Get your ways to a better place if you're looking to do so. So let me get into it. Um, and basically it's about products really for like 180 wave products even for 360 waves like what I use get your hair like shiny to get my hair shiny everything like that really everything so just to show you keeping up with it you know what I'm saying like I said but really this is also like like what I use products like this is something like a little change to what I normally use on a day-to-day -day basis but this is something that I have used previously some I used previously that works really good. So I'm about to show you. I'm about to show you three products that are really good for making sure your hair is laying down, shiny, and it's looking good. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of times people use like sporting waves. That's good. They brush. That's good. But they don't have that product to set them over the top. You know what I'm saying? Set them like make sure your waves are like shiny. You know what I'm saying? When you pop out, when you get your hair cut, wherever you're at, your waves are just shiny. They're looking good. So people don't really understand what to use, so that's why I'm here to tell you today this is what you use. Uh, basically, you can use this, because this is what, uh, let me show you. This is what I, I always use. This in a Curl Hansen smoothie. Yeah, the Curl Hansen smoothie, that's all I had to think about, the same moisture, that's also really good. But this is really good if you grow your hair out, if you want your hair like longer, if you're wolfing or something like that, just to make sure your hair is like, really shiny and really good but the curly has a smoothie is good but for this video i use that then i use this mousse it's really good it's really this is really good uh, my barber pretty much um put me onto this and it's really good for my hair for laying it down to make sure it's moisturized so generally at night i'll put this on and i'll put my do-rag on and i won't put a lot but i'll leave it kind of like damp my hair is like damp from this and it just kind of soaks into my scalp and my hair. So it's really good. And yeah, it's not sticky and it doesn't leave like a residue or anything like that. So it's natural. So that's why I like, yo, you should definitely give this a shot. Give this a try. This is what it is. It's good. Just if you want your waves shiny, you want your waves looking good. That's what I do. And then I also have this like, it's like a mist. Yeah, it's a moisture mist. It's like a hold and shine. This is also good. Um, if you need your hair to like, you know, you want it like a little bit more shine. What you do is just, you take it and you just spray it like that. But it's simple and it's really quick. Like you don't really think it's gonna do much, but then by the time you look, like your hair is like different, like it's like shiny and stuff. So I really like those products. I really like the mist um, a lot because, you know, you don't have to put, no, it's quick, it's quick. You don't have to do much, but it lasts in your hair and it stays in. So. I really like it. It's really nice. So definitely give that a shot. Definitely give all three a shot. But um, it has protein in it, silk protein, which it says is like it helps like with frizz, makes sure your hair is laying down really good. So that's always a good thing to have when your waves are laying down. It just makes it easier for you to brush and easy for you to maintain your progress. You're not losing progress when it's like that. So just keep that in mind. When you're using products like all over the place or you're just brushing your hair, it's not laying down. So you're not going to see a lot of progress. Or you're not gonna get a lot of connections, which is a big thing. When you have waves, you want as many connections as you possibly can have. And uh, you want it to look like rings. Like you want it, if you're doing 360s, you want it like to go from like a smaller ring to a bigger ring throughout your hair. So it's like that. And it's like the more connected your waves are, the better and easier the process is for that. So just keep that in mind. That's really good. And then on top of that, you know, brushing with the products has been really good. Keeping your hair healthy. And that's another thing with the Shea Moisture, why I tell you guys, it keeps your hair as healthy as possible and as natural as possible. So that's really, really good because I use like a natural shampoo and a natural conditioner, which is also Shea Moisture, by the way. And it just keeps my hair looking nice, but moisturized, but really, really good. So <clears throat> I know that's definitely important, especially for the summertime, because when the sun is beaming down, you want to have that extra shine, you want to have that extra advantage on your hair. And then after you get a cut with doing the process and make sure you're using good products, your hair is gonna be fresh out the gate, perfect. You know what I'm saying? Only thing I do is really lay it down, and maintain it from there, and you're good. And then also, I've been using, you know, getting my hair cut every week, 
every Friday. I think I got a cut Thursday though, but like every Friday I'll get it cut. So that way I'm making sure that my progress, I'm not losing progress and I'm not having, my hair isn't over curly because I have too much hair. So uh, that's really, really important, especially when using these good products, your hair is going to kind of curl up a lot more because you're getting like protein in it. You're getting these special kind of oils in it, olive oil and good things like that. So you want to make sure you're laying it down, but also getting the cut to cut off that extra uh, layer of hair that you don't want because you, you want your hair to be uh, wavy and then you know waves are pretty much laying down curls so the more good products you use the curlier your hair is going to be but it's going to be harder to maintain so just make sure you're keeping an update on that and then you're brushing with like a medium brush or a hard brush depending on your hair texture and the length that it's at and then use your soft brush when you are a lower haircut like you have a lower style like probably something like this like in the middle Use a soft brush, and then when it grows in, you increase the brush hardness. You know what I'm saying? That's what you want to do for that. So that's pretty much how I go about using those products. Uh, then for the curling gel souffle, I always have this on my channel. I just use this like when I notice my hair is like dry. Like you know, some days you just wake up like, hey, my hair is nice, but either you're in a pool, your conditioner or your shampoo dried out your hair, so you need something to put that moisture back in. That's why I have this. This or the curling gel, no, no, the Hanson smoothie is really good. So give that a try. If you can't find this, I, the if you can't find that, I would say go with the smoothie. The smoothie is a good alternative if you don't have that because sometimes this isn't always in the store. So definitely get into that. Um, but if you wanna keep your hair products natural as much as you can, like you can, navigate away from that sometimes but make sure you always kind of come back you have something to give you that base of something natural so that way your hair is as healthy as possible that's another thing because when your hair is healthy it's going to show when you get a cut because when you get your cut you're going to see more waves because it's going to be laying down it's going to be just more uniform more easier to work with more easier to manage and then it's going to last longer throughout the weeks like to where your hair is not crazy you know what i'm saying that's one thing that i'm trying to get you guys to understand is that the longer you go without a cut, the crazier your hair can be. So that's not always a good thing. Um, you know, I know when you're, when you're wolfing, you want deeper waves, you want to make sure your hair is maintained, you want to make sure your hair is laying down, and you want to make sure that you're doing everything you possibly can to keep your waves perfect, you know what I'm saying? Because whenever it's not perfect, whenever it's over curling, it's just too much, and it's more of a headache than uh, an easier process. So do that, also brush, Keep the routine going Monday, not Monday, but in the mornings and then at night, make sure you're doing the same routine, stay up to date on that. Wear your durag every night because if you're a heavy sleeper like me, your durag will be everywhere. You don't want that because it's gonna cause more problems for your waves and your cut is not gonna be as clean as if you were wearing your durag and doing your routine, well, doing your progress, I mean, doing your, uh, your wave process and everything like that. You wanna stay up to date on that because if not, your waves is gonna kind of decline. You don't want that. You want to make sure it's good every day and it's looking, you know, shiny, everything like that. It's moisturized and healthy. So that's the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching. If you like the video, make sure you like the video. I'll be back again with another video and I'll see you in that video. So thanks so much. I'll see you later. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.